Alexander's clearance, Oldfield's after it, and Oldfield has got the better of the Derby defence here, he can square it across, this is Grant, Kim Grant and Luton in front, 2-0 on aggregate now, 1-0 on the night, and Kim Grant has scored. No foul, says the referee. And forward come Derby, headed clear. Parker. This is Gabbiadini. Still Derby trying to find a way through. There might be an opening here. They've sprung the offside trap. It's going to be squared across. And Dean Sturridge equalises for Derby. One all on the night. 2-1 now to Luton on aggregate. keeping the pressure on comes to Simpson Simpson might, uh, tries left with a left foot and he has and he scored Paul Simpson puts Derby 2-1 in front and we're level now on aggregate Mitchell Thomas now Thorpe's made a run Tony Thorpe the substitute left footed shot and he scored 2-2 on the night, and Tony Thorpe puts Luton in front, 3-2 on aggregate. In Derby, 3-2 on aggregate. They now go on to play Wimbledon in the next round. Luton were protecting a 1-0 lead at the baseball ground last night, but any thoughts that they'd gone to Derby to defend were quickly dispelled as they scored after just 12 minutes through Kim Grant. That gave Luton a two-goal lead and brought a frantic response from Derby. For a while, the Luton defence stood firm. But then two goals just before half-time threatened to transform the tie. Dean Sturridge made it 1-1 on the night. And then four minutes later, Paul Simpson added another. And the sides were suddenly level on aggregates. That could easily have wrecked Luton's confidence. But they showed just the kind of spirit Lenny Lawrence has been trying to build by scoring the vital goal midway through the second half. Substitute Tony Thorpe, the scorer made the final score 2-2, Luton through 3-2 on aggregate.